I have arrived in the colorful hills of the Beaujolais region dotted with charming villages and famous vineyards. This is my first visit to Beaujolais and I have to confess I am enchanted by the great beauty of this wine road, only half an hour's drive from the great city of Lyon. Paul-Henri Thiardon, a young winemaker still in his 20s, and his young brother Charles, with their old horse Kalin, tend to their small vineyard with care to make wines of pure finesse. Donc là voilà, on est sur les vignes de Chena Chassignol, un des plus beaux terroirs de Chena. Euh, ces vignes ont 90 ans et on les travaille donc euh, en agriculture biologique et biodynamique. The wine is left to mature for less than a year in oak barrels. Euh, on a un seul cépage, cépage unique pour les rouges, c'est le gamay en fait, qui s'exprime sur euh, plein de terroirs différents, sur 10 crues du Beaujolais et des appellations génériques comme le Beaujolais et Beaujolais Village en fait. Mm, a super fruity wine, fresh and very easy to drink. Poach cherries with a Beaujolais syrup make an exotic local dessert. First, I pour 600 milliliters of Beaujolais wine into a saucepan with 80 grams of sugar, half a vanilla pod, a small piece of cinnamon stick, three crushed black peppercorns, a small slice of ginger, and the peel of half an orange and half a lemon. I simmer this syrup for five minutes, then strain it into a bowl. Then I return the wine syrup without the spices to the saucepan, add 600 grams of pitted cherries, bring to a simmer and simmer for three minutes. The poaching process is very delicate and I only poach the cherries for a few minutes. I serve the cold cherries and syrup in a bowl. I love this soup aux cerises au Beaujolais, sprinkled with flaked almonds and dusted with icing sugar. The village of Vaux en Beaujolais, at the center of the wine road, is the home of the excellent restaurant L'Auberge de Clochemerle. Before lunch, Romain, the very talented young chef, took me for a walk high in the village. Donc voilà où je ramasse mes herbes sauvages. Ah, c'est magnifique. As for many chefs of his generation, wild herbs are important in Romans cooking. Donc ici, je ramasse la pimprenelle. Dans quel plat tu l'utilises En ce moment avec le pigeon. Eating at this charming restaurant is a happy adventure. There are no written menus. Guests only choose a menu price, then from a list of ingredients, they can tell if they are foods they can't or don't wish to eat. Alors, à l'auberge de Clochemerle, on propose trois menus surprises que l'on compose à l'instant en fonction des produits de saison et de ce que les producteurs nous amènent. His spring dish of local pigeon and green asparagus garnished with burnet leaves is beautiful. Delphine matches the dish with a superb gamay made by Paul Henry and the dessert of very sweet strawberries with little sticks of hazelnut meringue is the perfect finish. I wish I could stay in Beaujolais longer, but the tour must go on. Tomorrow I am in the Alps and I visit a fromagerie that makes one of my all-time favorite cheese.